guys and welcome back to um a new tutorial um i just wanted to say i'm sorry that i haven't been uploading recently but i've had some stuff that i'm doing over the summer and also i have gotten into unity which is a 3d like game development software that like professionals use and i've been experimenting on that and trying to make a cool game and i want to make some unity tutorials but i just don't have a mic that'll work for it so but i might make unity tutorials later but anyways um in this tutorial i'm going to show you guys how to make a clicker game and um clickers are great games for people who are like just now starting off on scratch and this is like their first time creating a game or it's or it's also good for experience coders because you can add a lot of effects to clickers um, and there's just a lot of stuff you can do with it, but it's still a simple concept. But if you can make it look polished, it can turn out as a pretty good game. And so that's what I'm going to be showing you how to make today. Um, so here I have this costume. This is going to be the click thing. Um, this is like a smiley face. And then I just have a backdrop. Okay, so first thing let's do is create a variable called clicks. Um, and this variable is for all sprites and we can use this to record how many clicks we have clicked and stuff so let's go ahead and set clicks to zero when the flag is clicked um and i actually already did make a clicker tutorial but that was kind of a long time ago and i wanted to restart on it because um i think i could make a better one and so i'm pretty much going to be doing things similar to the one that i did in the first part but i am probably going to be finishing this series Okay, um, so when the flag is clicked, uh, we're going to set the clicks to zero because we haven't clicked anything yet. And then what we're gonna do is just set up a basic, um, like, clicking thing. So also first let's make a, another variable called cache because if we have like an upgrade that can like change our cache amount, it, it'll only change clicks by one, but then it might change cache by like five or something. I don't know. Okay, so we'll set clicks to zero and then to click, we'll just say forever and then if and then another if so if and then touching mouse pointer and then if it's touching the mouse pointer and the mouse is down basically and the reason why i did this in two different ifs is because we could put something in here like if we wanted to put an effect but even if the mouse is not down just if it's touching the mouse pointer it'll still do that and so then we can say change cache by one for now but later we'll have a variable that is like the change cache amount or something and then we can also change clicks by one. And then we're going to also broadcast a message called click. And I'll explain what this message is going to be for in a second. Okay, so now if we show this variable here, um, cache here, um, you can, and, and clicks, um, you can see if we click the flag, um, oh, they're going up by a lot. Oh, right. You. I'm also going to put a wait until not mouse down, so then it doesn't keep going up because I'm already at over 80,000 points. So, oh, and I also have to set the cache to zero. Sorry, I forgot about that part. Okay, there. Now, if we click, we can score points, but it's kind of boring. And in clicker games, it's supposed to be really satisfying when you click because if you just click on stuff, it's going to get kind of boring. So you have to add something to like keep people playing. So let's add in an effect here. If it's touching the mouse pointer, then we can say set the brightness effect to 20. And then we can say right before it checks that, it'll just set it to zero. So now... It's this, and it's a little too bright, I think. So I'm gonna try setting it to 10. And I think 15 should be good. So now, okay, I think I like that. But it still is pretty boring. So if you'll remember my um, video that I made before this one, I made a cool size effect. I mean, I showed how to make a cool size effect. And so I have backpacked this, and you can go back and watch that video if you want to know how to do this, but I'm not really gonna explain it in this one. And so it's, I'll put a link in the description of the video. And so, so now we have this, and let's go ahead and just put this 
in another when clicked forever loop and now it's doing this but we also have to put a chain size in there so then it will do that so we can say then i i plus 50 and so now it uh, now it's going to do that but um we also have to change i2 by number because otherwise it won't do anything and so let's just say change i2 by five and so now it also gets bigger and then can also say plus um and then we can say an and because we can also say um because there's this and we could also say plus um touching mouse pointer and mouse down um so then when we click it'll get a little bigger for just a second and we can say like i don't know maybe try 20 times this also and then if we put this in, it'll change this false thing, and it'll actually change it to a number when we multiply it by something. And then we can just put this back in here. And if we click this now, it gets bigger when we click it. Okay, and maybe I'm gonna make this a little more obvious so you can see it better. And I'm gonna click this again and then... Okay, so that's good. And let's see, how does this look? Yeah. Okay. So, it's a lot less boring now. We should, I think I'm also going to add um, a go to zero, zero. And I'm also going to add a point in direction. And so it'll also turn. And for this, I'm going to do a plus. And for the plus in here, I'm going to do 90. Because that is the, because, um, that is like the starting direction that I have. And then I'm gonna do 90 plus, and then I'm gonna put in a times, and then I'm gonna get a sign, and then I'm gonna get another times. And what this is for is so if I, oh, just let me put the timer in here first. Okay, so now with this, um, it'll do the sign, um, and then if I do, oh, yeah, also I'll do 20 here. So 90 plus 20 times the sine of timer times 200. So what this is gonna do is the 20 is like how much it's going to be changing the direction by. And then the sine is like to keep it from going crazy. And then the timer times 200 is the speed. So the 200 is the speed. So this is what it is right now. I'm actually gonna change this to 150 or something. Or maybe 180. Here. Um, and, you know, I'm actually going to make this be more like um, maybe 10 actually t times si time, sine of timer times 130. Uh, and I think this would be good. Okay, so that's that looks good. Now, um, yeah, so that's good. And so now we have a basic click and we have some effects for it. And so this tutorial is almost done, but I think I want to show how to add one more thing um, before I end the video. And I'm going to show how to add the effect that I also showed how to add in my other clicker video, which I'm probably gonna unpublish because this one is gonna be the real clicker video. And so anyways, um, I'm going to uh, do that now. So you can just um, paint a new sprite and then just take the click costume and drag it on top of here because um, this is what I want my effect to look like. And I'm gonna call it click effect okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in here and then the first thing I'm gonna do is get a one plus click and then I'm gonna make a new variable and I'm gonna call it clone and then I'm gonna say for the sprite only and what clones gonna be for is to check if the sprite is the clone 
or if it's just the normal sprite because if it's the normal sprite i don't want it to do anything so i'm gonna hide and set clone to zero to mean it's not a clone and then when i receive click then it's going to say if the clone equals zero then it's going to clone itself so the only the main sprite is going to be creating the clones and then when i start as a clone then it's going to um just set clone to one and then so it knows it's a clone and it won't create clones of itself and then i'm also going to make a variable called xv for the x velocity for this right only and then yv for y velocity for this right only and then um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set xv to zero i mean actually no not to zero to pick random and then negative 10 point zero to ten point zero and when i put the point zero it means it could also pick like 7.2 or something and so it could also go into decimals and then i'm going to repeat until um the absolute value of xv is greater than three because i don't actually want it to be too little so um let me get this absolute value of xv Oh, actually, I'm going to switch this one. This one's greater. Okay, it's greater than 3. And then I'm going to say, um, just do the same thing again and keep on setting it. Then um, I'm going to set the YV to a random number. And the YV is going to be pick random 15.0 to 17.0. And the next is going to go to the click and then it's going to set the x variable which i need to make and also make a y variable and these are both for this sprite only x and y and then set the x to the x position and then set the y to the y position and then um it's gonna show and then it's going to set the another variable called dir for direction and we can set the that to be 90 because that is just a, the starting number and then we can repeat until the y is like re repeat until it like goes off the screen basically so repeat until the y is less than negative 210 um, then we're going to change the direction by, um, uh, we can go to times and we can put eight in here and then we can say X velocity, um, whoops, divided by the absolute value of X velocity and absolute value. I don't know if I told you guys, but it means it'll just convert it. Um, even if it's a negative number. The absolute value of like three is i mean of negative three would be three and if it's a positive number then it just doesn't do anything okay and so then um it's gonna set size to something like super big like crazy big like 10 billion million or something and then um it's gonna change yv by negative one for the gravity um negative one and then it's going to set the xv to um xv times 0 0.9 so it'll have friction um and then um um oh yeah then it's going to point in direction direction or dir and then it's going to go to x x and y y and then after that it's going to change x by xv and y by yv um so change x 
by XV. Oh, whoops. Keep on adding a comment. And then change the Y by the YB. Okay, so now we did that. Now all we do is set the size back to um, a small size because we don't want it to be that giant size. So we could say like 50. And then just delete this clone. And because after this repeat until that would mean after this, then it just wants to delete because it's off the screen. And so now if we start the game, we can see that it's working. And we've got this cool click effect, although it is in front. So all we have to do to fix that is just go down to this one five click and say go to front layer. So um, the click effect will be in front. I mean the click will be in front of the click effect. And so now we have this basic um, clicker game. And this is going to be the start of yeah the clicker game. And so. Yeah, in my next videos, I'm going to show how to add shop and more stuff to it, more effects and stuff. But um, I think this is a good place to end the video. This was kind of like just a recap of like my other video that I made about a clicker, but I think this one is better. And this is the one that I'm going to be actually using. Um, so I'm going to unpublish the other one. And um, so, yeah, if you liked the video, make sure to drop a like. And I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe. And yeah, so that's all. And I'll see you in the next video. So bye.